Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Bob here. So got a pretty cool one for you guys today. Now this one might hit home a little bit more with the Canadian viewers out there. Although I think it's kind of a fun one for just about anybody and I'll explain what I mean by that here in just a minute. Now the watch we're looking at is the Intrepid by the Whitby Watch Company. Whitby is the name of the town where the company is based and is very close to where I live which is kind of cool too. So let's get into the watch. All right, so before we get into the watch itself, the inspiration for the watch was to honor the Canadian icon, Sir William Stevenson. He was dubbed the man called Intrepid by Winston Churchill, which is where the name for the watch comes. A little background on him if you're not familiar. So, Sir William Stevenson was a World War I flying ace. He was an entrepreneur, an inventor, amongst many other things, but most notably, he was a spy. I'm not going to get into the full history, but one of his biggest accomplishments was founding Camp X, which was the world's first school for clandestine wartime operations training. That was from 1941 to 1945, and over 2,000 operatives from Canada, the UK, and the US were trained there. The location of Camp X was actually located in Whitby, Ontario, the same city the company is from. I can't cover everything Sir William Stevenson has done in just one video, but I'll leave a link to a nice read on the Whitby Watch Co. site that covers some of his accomplishments. Now the watch comes out on this really nice waterproof watch box. If we open it up here, you'll see there is a write-up for uh, Stevenson. To the left is the Camp X emblem, and on the right we have the Whitby Watch Co. logo. Underneath there is room for three watches as well as a couple of straps. Tucked in here is a commemorative Camp X coin. I think that's just a really nice extra touch. The coolest part of the packaging though, if you look at the top side of the case, we have this little tab and there's almost like a little secret compartment here with a top secret folder. And we'll just take a look here. So you get your warranty card. There's also a few pictures here. This is Sir William Stevenson. This is some explosive training at Camp X. There's a shot here, an overview shot of Camp X there too. So pretty neat presentation of the watch. The watch itself is a 200 meter dive watch and quite a nice looking one at that. I'll hit you with the numbers on it and we'll start with the case size which comes in at a width of 44 millimeters. Lug to lug is 53 millimeters, the lug opening is 22 millimeters, and the thickness comes in at right around 14 millimeters. The watch is running the ETA 2824-2, which you don't often see at this price point. The watch is listed, by the way, at 700 Canadian dollars, which with today's exchange is a little under 530 US. The crystal is sapphire and they're using an anti-reflective coating for increased legibility. The bracelet is polished with brushed center links. The end links are solid. We have a signed brushed clasp with the ratcheting dive extension here. Very easy to use, and if we open it up, you'll see here that the clasp is made from milled steel. Now, I don't have it here today, but the watch will also be coming with a silicone strap, which is a nice extra to have. The dial on this one is a sunburst black, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that through the camera, but it really comes to life in the right lighting. Up top, we have the company logo and Whitby Watch Company printed with automatic and the water resistance above the six. The date at three is nicely framed in steel. Nice choice of handset there too. And the hands and applied hour markers are applied with Super Luminova. It's not the brightest loom, but it definitely does the trick. The bezel is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. The insert is aluminum. It's got a nice clicky action, although it's a little bit tight to turn. Everything otherwise lines up like it should though. The case is completely polished. It's a pretty no-nonsense design with that straight drop off from the lugs to the case sides. 
the case back is engraved with a compass rose and it's numbered number 27 of 103. There's three versions of the watch. There's the black, there's a blue and a red, each limited to 103 pieces. The significance of that number comes from Camp X that was officially known as Special Training School number 103. So let's get this on wrist here. And here it is. And it's definitely got a little bit of heft to it. Sharp looking watch though. And I bet it would look really nice on that silicone strap it'll be coming with. So pretty neat to revisit the story of Sir William Stevenson. One last fun fact on him. Ian Fleming was quoted saying Stevenson was the real life inspiration for James Bond, which is pretty cool. Definitely check out his story on their site. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as a separate link to where you can pick one of these up. So thanks so much for stopping by today and we'll see you real soon. Bye bye. <music>